Jennifer Sherlock, our correspondent, and she's got a feature about driver Dave Miller, who has been red hot of late. Here's Jen. Well, I grew up in Ohio, and uh, my grandfather and my dad, they were both in the business. They uh, both uh, drove and trained, and these are actually my dad's. Um, he, this was his design, his colors. Uh, when I first started driving, I, I wore his, actually wore his colors. And uh, uh, like when I started driving, he actually slowed down and quit driving, so I just kept, the, uh, kept his suit, kept his colors. Driver David Miller is a third generation horseman. He said the first horse he drove was older than him. I was 12 and he was 13. Miller spent most of his career in the Midwest, but in the 90s, that changed. He won so many races there, they called him Purple Jesus. Actually, I came out here to the East Coast and uh, I would say like the early 90s. Uh, I was here for like six months, didn't really get much work, didn't do very well, so I went back home. I'd say like around 98, uh, a friend of mine was coming out for the winter. And, uh, he asked me to come out and race for him, so I did, and uh, so far, so good, you know? <laughs> and now David Miller is hot, hot, hot. On Monday and Wednesday here at Harris Chester, he won five races on each card. Winning all those races, as you could imagine, has him fired up, a passion he knows well. I fell in love with the horses real early in life, and uh, you know, they've just been uh, mainly my uh, whole focus my whole life. I never really got into sports. I uh, never played any sports in school. I just uh, did the horses and uh, just totally loved it. David has won nearly 10,000 races in his career with many memorable horses, but it's hard to pinpoint just any one. They are all special to him. I've driven quite a few horses that I really, really liked, I really admired. I mean, uh, um, over the years, like right now, I got a Poof She's Gone and won the West uh, Shadow Play. On Friday this past weekend, he was in Canada driving Won the West in the Molson with a stop in New York, and now he's back here at Harris Chester. His job involves a lot of traveling. It's a long day when you got to fly, got to race somewhere in the afternoon, then fly somewhere and race at night. You know, it makes for a long day. But uh, you know, like I said, if you get a good horse, and uh, it, it makes it worth it. I'm Jennifer Sherlock, PA Harness Week. Thank you, dear Jennifer. It's time now to go back, back. How far back? Way back, back in the time. It's time for our blast from the past. This week, all you geezers and even your young whippersnivers, let's go back to 1992. I know it doesn't sound all that long ago, because it wasn't all that long ago, it's only 18 years ago. And back then when it was a half mile track, SJ Photo was absolutely a killer back then. And he was in this race, and he was a big favorite. Let's see what happened. Around the far turn, SJ's photo is all alone. SJ's photo by 15. Jugga Punch is second. P. Hamilton third. Master photo is fourth, and they're on their way home. And SJ's photo is going after the track record right here. SJ's photo has distanced this field. Wow, was that a performance or was that a performance? SJ's photo, who eventually sired a Hamiltonian winner in vivid photo yeah. in the Roger Hammer barn. Yeah. Well, he only won that race by 30 lengths. Hello? I mean, that's like a secretariat-like performance in the harness game, correct? Let me just tell you that SJ's photo ended up being the older trotter of the year a few years later, competed in Europe. I mean, it, just an amazing horse. Okay, and he went 158 and three on the half mile Rosecroft Oval back then, which was a, dare I say it, there, there, a track record. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's our blast from the past. Good morning and welcome back to another edition of the Coach's Corner. Hey, I loved our selections last week, but we were just a little bit unlucky. Ruffles Kiss won for us at uh, Mohegan. Big Time Ball got run over in a world record time, so we were a little unlucky there. And Sports Writer made his debut, went off at 1-5 to five as we expected. He ended up getting overrun by a long shot like we expected. Unfortunately, it wasn't our long shot, so we missed out on a big exacta there. I want to give a coach's shout out this week to the Tower Hill boys lacrosse team in Delaware. They won the Delaware State Championship and uh, Duke's Lacrosse Club player Chaz Rubino and coach Dan Deckelbaum were integral in their big win for the state championship. So congrats guys. 
Uh, this week we looked at nine different races, charted nine different races, and we ended up selecting two races for our selections this week. Both of them are tonight, Saturday night. The first one we're going up to Mohegan to the uh, James Lynch final. Love, 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 Fancy, Fancy Philly. Philly. If George Teague says it's his best filly ever, why should we argue with him? We're going to go $20 to win and $10 to place on Fancy Philly up at Mohegan tonight. In our second selection, we're going up to Balmoral Park tonight for the Cardinal Stakes. The 11th race, I love the number three, Delco Willoughby. Put $20 to win, $20 to place on Delco Willoughby. Good luck to you. Now let's take it back to Heather in the casino for the news of the week. Thanks, Evie. Now for the news of the week. Recently, horseman Richie Gracia passed away at the young age of 45. He left behind a wife and two adorable children. There will be a fundraising breakfast for Richie's family taking place on June 20th at the Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame. Now, serving breakfast will be Standard Bread stars Ray Schnicker, George Brennan, Jason Bartlett, and Jordan Stratton. It'll be a wonderful Wonderful event and a wonderful cause. Check it out, RichieAngraciaFund.com for more details. Currently, the leading driver in the entire country is Aaron Merriman with over 350 victories. And you didn't hear this from me, but Aaron is addicted to Facebook and Twitter. Yes, the 31-year-old driver who competes mainly in Ohio and Western Pennsylvania has over 1,900 Facebook friends. And he admits that he likes just using the internet to answer questions from fans and keep in touch with his fellow horsemen. OMG, don't go running to the computer right now. We've got so much more to get through. And we've got In the Bike coming up. <laughs> don't go away. Hi, and welcome back to PA Harness Week. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to go in the bike. We go up north, eh? If it's not too much trouble, you know, fine organization up there, you know, north of the barter. Canada, got it. Play hockey, okay. hello, okay. All right, it was the $312,000 Molson Cup Final. I'll drink to that. And we had some serious racehorses in there. It took place at Western Fair Raceway. Won the West, was three to five with Dave Miller. The always tough foiled again, a generous seven to two with Yannick Jingra. Lucky man and Mark McDonald was the five to one third choice. A few dollars bet on him more than hypnotic blue chip. Won the West, grabbed the two hole and at the wire, he was, won the West, was ahead the best. Winning in a flat 152 over a dead game foiled again, who always fires his best shot. Stonebridge Terror was right there third. Both first and second place finishers came out of the Ron Burke stable. So he was a happy camper no matter what happened, right? Yeah. And we, darling, are out of time. We're out of time. Speaking of time, I want to tell everybody Mohegan Sun of Pocono Downs tonight. The post time is a little bit different. Five o'clock because of the Belmont going on. You so make sure you get out there. Segue there that oh, that was a beautiful segue. Is that a beautiful name? Uh, oh, can I say something else? Please do. Monday, first Monday night at Mohegan Sun of Pocono Downs. The first 500 fans that show up get a free po program and a free $2 betting voucher. So get out there tonight. Get out there on Monday. Do Lots your thing. Of great racing all week at Chester as well. You know. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. I meant to tell you, by the way, silly me promoing my radio show. It's on the Big Talker 1210 WPHD from 10 until 1, okay? So for all of us here at PA Harness Week, Heather Moffitt, Bruce Casella, Jennifer Sherlock, E.B. Helm, I'm Steve Ross with a $64,000 question. Are you keeping track? Oh, they go. Explosive matter wins the Colonial easily. Underway. Starting fast, last night, Eric, and Matt, Matt.